Now to another developing story. Elgeo Marikwet, uh, Senator Kipchumba Murkomen is expected, is appearing before the Public Accounts Committee this morning over the NYS saga. Now he will be shedding light in the role of a law firm linked to him, if any, in the siphoning of uh, 1.6 billion shillings from NYS. Well, this comes after details emerged that Singo A. Kip uh, Murkomen and Sigay Advocates, a law firm owned by Murkomen and Reuters legal advisor Career Singo A, received 15 million shillings from out of the box solutions said to be linked to the NYS scandal. PAC Chairman Nicholas Gumbo says he uh, the committee resolved to invite Murkomen after analyzing the submissions. And as you can see, that session is already ongoing. Let's just cross over there and listen in. All right, so we understand that it has not officially started, and but uh, the moment it does, as you can see there, we still have some empty seats. We'll be crossing over to listen in. For now, though, let me bring in my re um, my colleague, not my reporter, but my colleague, uh, Patrick Amimo, who's following up on this story today. Patrick, thank you so much for joining us. And so, I mean, finally, Kipchuma Murkomen um, is going to be appearing before uh, the uh, committee. Uh, what exactly, what questions are we likely to see him answer today? Uh, thank you so much. Indeed, this is an ongoing investigation over the missing millions in NIS. I uh, remember also people have been charged before the anti-corruption court with regard to the scandal that led to the loss of 1.8 million shillings. And Kipchumba Murkomen, his appearance before the committee is due to the legal uh, uh, legal fee he was paid from out-of-the-box solutions, a company that is linked to a former media personality. And, uh, you know, before Murkomen, uh, when the this matter came to the public glare, uh, more men I did write um, a, 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 a written, provided a written memoranda to the public National Assembly's Public Accounts Committee, and members were divided on whether to invite him personally to appear before them or they be satisfied by the written written submissions. But you know what has happened before such committees is that uh, uh, it's good for them to probe uh, the written submissions further to invite the particular witnesses to come and share shed more light on. on on such on such matters, and by virtue of Murkomen having been asked to appear before the committee personally, it will give members a, an opportunity to interrogate him on some of the areas, uh, grey areas that define his submissions, and he'll be there personally to answer to that. Remember, uh, even before before this particular matter came on board, uh, we, if I can give a past example where we had the former deputy former deputy director general of, of NYS. Uh, Harake. And Mr. Harake 